So the reason we do the combustion analysis at the same time as the draft, let's say there were no draft, and all the flue products are coming out of this draft diverter right here. This number right here is at 23, 24 parts per million, which even if this were not drafting at all, and all of it were spilling into the house, that's not enough to cause a health concern. Now, if this number were at three, four, 500 parts per million, and it wasn't drafting at the same time, then that's gonna have a negative effect on anyone that's in the home, because that three or 400 parts per million could cause someone to get sick. This 23, 24, 25 parts per million cannot. Um, I never knew this before we were trained by probably the premier combustion person in the country, but carbon monoxide does not duplicate. So when you see 27 parts per million right here, even if this were spilling straight into the home, that 27 will always be 27. It'll, it won't be 27 times two. Uh, it, yeah, it won't compound. So um, that's how we know that people are safe because even if this weren't drafting, that'll never duplicate. So that's an important thing for a homeowner to know. Jim, how do we use that? How can we use that as a tool? Uh, so we use our analyzer on the as well for diagnostic purposes. So if this number, you guys, sometimes we see this escalate very high, kind of rapidly, or it shuts off our meter. So our meter shuts off at 2,000 parts per million. It won't go any higher because that's just the way it's designed. Um, this will tell us if we have a problem with a heat exchanger or a gas pressure problem or a combustion air problem without necessarily looking at any one of those parts, meaning a heat exchanger. Um, this is the ultimate tool for a heating and air conditioning person because if this were to shut off my meter, if this were to be at 1500 parts per million, whatever, it either tells me I have a combustion air problem, gas pressure problem, a venting problem, or I have recirculation of flue products within a heat exchanger. So instead of burning a gas once and it going out a chimney, I'm burning it over and over and over again because we're recirculating the same burnt gas and it's being burnt over and over again. So um, if I saw too high of a number on my combustion analyzer, like on a furnace, I will immediately stop what I'm doing and I'll start investigating the reason for that. I'll check gas pressure. I'll do a visual on the heat exchanger to see if it's rotted. Um, we've caught a lot of heat exchangers just by simply doing this and being proactive about it versus reactive.